about ready for first pitch in the desert. Major League Baseball on the show is next. MLB The Show is proud to welcome you to the desert capital of Arizona. We're at Chase Field in Phoenix for this edition of Major League Baseball. Straight ahead, a special Memorial Day ball game for you here, and we've got a good one, as it'll be the Florida Marlins taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here with my colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Karros as we get set for what should be a good one, and Soup will turn to you first. What will be the one thing we can keep an eye on here? Well, it's going to be interesting to see what degree the bullpens get used in this one because I think each manager would really like to keep his pen from being overworked, and it'll be interesting to see which bullpen can best answer the call. All right, Dave, and we'll hear from Eric shortly, but before we do, let's go to our starting lineup for the visiting Florida Marlins. It's brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll square off against a guy who really started to break out toward the end of 2010, the USC product right-hander Ian Kennedy. And behind him, here's a look at the defensive alignment for Arizona. Chris Coughlin makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And a swing and a miss, so a first pitch strike as we're underway here this evening. Got to have a little more patience there as a leadoff hitter. First pitch, 5 10. Oh, one 1 is a circle change that's over for a cold strike. And down 0 and 2 now. Let's see if they go back to the hard stuff. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. No. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. Now a ball lined towards center field. And a diving effort that time by Johnson, but he comes up empty. It's a base hit. Oh, this ball is just a laser. You can see the velocity there. It leaves his bat at 99 miles an hour. Squared that one up pretty well. Exactly Vladimir Guerrero steps in now. First pitch to him. And a ball 1-0. He's got to be careful not to overstride into a pitch on his hands like that. He's running towards second. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw into third. 
Oh, and he is out trying to take third on the hit and run. What a throw. Hanley Ramirez will stand in, and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. Check on Vlad, and now the pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0-1. And, and that may be the pitch that he'll remember from this at-bat. When he's hot, he doesn't miss that. Outside for a ball, one and one. off for second. Now a swing and a little soft liner to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. And two and two. this one inside and that'll run things full three and two we're not even five minutes into this game and already we've got a big battle here at the plate John Buck is on deck Now a swing and a miss by Ramirez as he's dispatched back to the dugout, out number two. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy up, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound out there, so even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. John Buck will stride in now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's ball game. in there for strike one. And he misses with it, one and one.
Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. And this is past Mora at third, a fair ball. No wasting any time here in the first. That's a good swing there, and it allows them to drive one for two bases. Now maybe they're one more hit away from jumping out to a quick 2-0 lead. Logan Morrison will stand in. He drove in one of the two runs in yesterday's ball game. Ran the circle change in on him, a ball and no strikes. Now the 1 0 pitch. Ball two. And remember, he's got a base open, so he can pick who he wants to pitch to here. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Here's the two and one pitch. Ah, and he pulls the string on one there, and from two and zero, oh, he works the count back to two and two now. Well, this would be a big break for him here in the first inning if he can get out of this. Runners at second and third with two gone. Now the 2-2 pitch. And he'll go the other way with the fastball as this is on the ground to third. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins can't cash in here, and that ends the inning. So a good job of pitching there as they wind up stranding two men in scoring position in the opening half inning. And now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. A look there at the starting lineup for the host Diamondbacks now, brought to us again by State Farm. They'll square off against a young pitcher who already has a no-hitter to his credit, right-hander Anibal Sanchez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Melvin Mora will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Now a change up in on the hands that evens it at one and one.
And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Yeah, and he'll look for something a little higher here. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. Now he tries to bunt his way aboard, no dice, three and two. And at least with that, maybe you pull that third baseman in a few steps, and that'll open up the hole a little more for you. And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. There to take it in is Coglin, and there's your first out. So one gone in the inning now for Xavier Nady. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Now here's the pitch. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. That was a good spot to miss. That thing fell right through the bottom of the zone. One out, nobody on. Sanchez readying the one and one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Two two pitch on the way. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still two and two. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw in plenty of time to take care of Nady, and there are two gone. Well, this winds up being a ground out, but still, that's not a bad at bat. He made him throw a lot of pitches to get that out. Kelly Johnson will take his cuts now. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. Yeah, and even though he's retired the first couple of guys here in the first, they've made him work for it so far.
the pitch. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So nothing in the Arizona first. We'll go to the second from Phoenix with no score on the show. Osvaldo Martinez leads things off now in the top half of the second. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. Matt trying to work the fastball in on the label. That was a good pitch. Now the pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. The ball! Ball swung on and lifted in the air with some carry out towards left center. And room out there for Nady, one away. And I would imagine he was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. Ronnie Belliard will get his first opportunity now. Here's the first offering. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Now here it comes. Line hard to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. He'll take the turn and head for second. Around second now, heading for third. The relay. But well, he is in there with a triple. We'll see this one more time. I think he was thinking about stopping it too, but he picked up the third base coach urging him on, so he took the gamble, and it paid off. Lars Anderson will get his first opportunity now. He drove in the other of the two runs in that game yesterday. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul Good ball. Foul. Hit hard to the left side. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Really, 
there shouldn't be any mistakes like this with a base open and the pitcher on deck. This is much too good a pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it and drives home the run. Anibal Sanchez will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. A wise decision to pull it back. You've got to make sure you bunt at strikes. You're playing right into their hands if you don't. And he pulls back the bunt attempt, 2-0. and now You can bet he's going to keep right on watching until he gets a strike. Now here's Sanchez able to put this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Good execution there as the sacrifice works that time. Now let's see if they can make it pay off. Chris Coughlin will dig in here. He's single to open up the ball game. Now the first pitch. And a good fastball from Kennedy as he gets ahead with strike one. And with Vlad on deck and two outs, this is definitely the guy you want right here. The 0 1 pitch is hit on the ground for Mora at third. And they will get. No! He's in there. A very close play at first. Well, when you give a team extra outs to work with, you usually end up paying the Piper. Now two men are on, and they get an extra out to deal with here. Vladimir Guerrero will stand in. A base hit his first time around. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. From the stretch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ugh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Well, don't let them score on a wild pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And this might be a spot for that old fake the third, look to first move, so they might want to watch for that. Swing and a miss, two and two now. And as my old colleague likes to say, deuce is wild, two on, two out, and a two two count. Runners on first and third, two away. Foul back. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. 
And with two outs here, the runner on first should be going with a pitch. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Needy is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Marlins get one here on a couple of hits. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Marlins lead it one to nothing. Chris Young will stand in now. He homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. him out with a slider for a strike. And the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. That's in there at the knees. No yard. Rolled foul off to the left, so he stays alive. Yeah. He'll try again, one, two. Now a swing and a miss, and Young is down on strikes, one away. Leadoff man gone here, and that's got to give some confidence after what has been a rough month so far. He's 0-3 in his starts, but he looked pretty good right there. Brandon Allen will be the batter. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. And he's just breezing right now. And he swings and hits this ball high in the air and deep to left center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Boy, this is just a good job of going down and getting this thing. This pitch is down in the zone, and he's able to ride it the other way into left center for two bases. Ryan Roberts will stride in now, back in the lineup after being limited to pinch hit duties in yesterday's ball game. Change up here to start things out, but that'll dip a bit too low, and it's 1 and 0. One out and a runner on second base. The next pitch. And that's right there, and we're even at one.
And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. And he misses again, ball three. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pitch. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Little over anxious that time. He went out of the strike zone to get that one, and it didn't pay off for him. Cole Gillespie will come forward now. Back in the lineup here after getting yesterday afternoon off. ball in there for a called strike and this is a big opportunity here for a young player to prove himself to his new ball club a man on third with two down pause now the pitch now the 0-1 is swung on and bounced to the shortstop, Ramirez. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. One left for Arizona. They trail this one, one to nothing. Hanley Ramirez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Here's the 1-0 now to Ramirez. And this one's down the middle, a ball and a strike. And he has not been all that efficient with his pitches through the first two innings. He'll need to step it up a bit here in inning number three. Hit hard, but foul. Oh. And now a pitch on the way. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two.
slider misses here, so he runs the count full, three and two. Tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. He'll try it again, three and two. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Now he's got to take a deep breath out there on the mound right now. I mean, not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also, he just walked the fastest guy in the building. I mean, that's definitely not what he wanted to do out there. John Buck will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. And he'll throw over to first. Runner back safely. Toward second. Pitch inside the throw. And it's not going to be in time as Ramirez has himself a stolen base. And that may have been an out and out guess right there. He had to figure they weren't going to throw over twice in a row. So he's running on first movement. He makes it to second base safely. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. No one out with a runner at second. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The throw to the plate. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. You can sort of tell he's really seeing the ball well tonight. That's two hits now in his first two at-bats. And on top of that, he gets himself an RBI. Logan Morrison will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and If he wants to turn things around, that's a pitch that he's going to need to start locating better. circle change but he takes it low ball two and the second time through these guys are starting to show a little more patience at the plate that should pay off in the long run two well count the pitch and he's flying open a bit, Soup. That misses high, ball three. And too many three-ball counts early in the ball game will just drive that pitch count up. Come on, d -back. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Now there are two ways you can go here as a pitching coach. So he's got to make a judgment call out there. 
I mean, he knows what buttons to press with each of his pitchers. You know, some guys you've got to reassure and be very positive with. You know, other guys, they respond better when you go out and challenge them. Really got to read them the riot act. Osvaldo Martinez will try it again. He flew out his first time. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And with two on and no out, you could call this both a strikeout situation or a double play situation. He'd be happy to take either. None out, runners at first and second. He waits, now the pitch. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. And he's obviously not trying to hit him there. He just let that one get away from him. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Yeah, another curveball here that can't find the zone. He's really had his share of troubles with location so far this inning. First and second here with nobody out. Here he comes on two and one. Swung on and missed, and it's even at two and two. And you can sit on the slider and hope he leaves one up in the zone, but when it's down there, it is awfully tough to get the barrel on. just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Well, one thing you learn real quick as a rookie, you don't get any easy at-bats at this level. You got to be thinking up there every single pitch because guys up here, they'll tear you apart if you don't. Ronnie Belliard will stand in. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. What a flip for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Marlins forced to settle for one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Marlins lead this one two to nothing. Henry Blanco will get his first shot at it here. Swing and the ball lifted out to straightaway central now for Coglin. One pitch, one away. Ian Kennedy will get his first cuts here. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. 
And he's thinking, yeah, you'll call that a strike when I'm at the plate, but not when I'm on the mound. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. Buck with the sign, now the one and one. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he's going to get there after a long run as he gloves it for the second out. And they may have been shading him towards the alley a bit, so he has to cover a lot of ground to get to this thing. But he's able to run it down just inside the foul line. Melvin Mora will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. And this ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One one. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Stays alive here as this is foul off to the right. Now a ball line softly here toward the right side. Foul. Swing and ooh, he saws him off with that one, but foul. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, three. And the catch made there by Coglin to retire the side. Diamondbacks down in order. They're down two to nothing. Lars Anderson will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. like he got the call there on the pitch inside it's nothing in one and this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. And Mora's got this one for the first out. 
Yet not always an easy play heading toward the stands out there in left field. You know, he's got a few different things to worry about over there, but he stays with it to make it look routine. Anibal Sanchez will step in now. And this is taken outside for ball one. lays off again and it's 2-0. and oh. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. <laughs> Strike called, 2-1. and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. That's the 2-2 pitch. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both guys topping out so far in the low 90s. 93 for one guy, 91 for the other. So two men are gone here in the floor to fourth. And it's right back to the top of the order now for Chris Coughlin. Ball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. Might have wanted to go up and get that one, but wisely laid off. And a fastball that's taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. And that ball's going to land between them. And Young will get this back in off the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. We'll get a good look at this from up in our press box camp. You can see the two outfielders give chase, but this is almost perfectly between them as it finds a gap for a double. Vladimir Guerrero will dig in one for two thus far.
slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And I think they'll be very careful here with the base open. The 1 out of Ladd to right field. Number eight is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Marlins leave one. They're up two to nothing. Time for scores from around the National League on a Monday night, presented by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Xavier Nady will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. The 1 0 pitch. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 now. Well, this is a guy up there that's not hitting a ton right now, but he can still work the count, and that alone can be beneficial to an offense. In there, two and one. Nady waits. Here's the 2-1. Can't connect there. It's 2-2. Two and two. And he is just in complete control out there. Misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Hit hard. Foul. Ball slapped hard the opposite way. And he will reach down to put this one away. Good job of hanging with it there for the first out. Looked like a sure single leading off the inning. He certainly hit it hard enough, but it hangs up there a bit too long and winds up getting run down. Kelly Johnson will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. No runs, just one hit and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. Boy, he's just sailing along now. And 
and smart to lay off there as the fastball misses. It's one and two now. And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. And it's pretty clear they've decided to work him up in the zone here as they've gone up with the last three pitches. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. From 0-2 to 3-2, he is really making him work out there. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's set down. So now two away for Chris Young. another first pitch strike and he's just running rough shot right through this lineup well they just have not put up much of a fight I, I totally agree he's had his way out there from the word go here's the pitch Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. And he's got himself a base hit. He's around first on his way to second now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Brandon Allen will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. And that misses for ball one. No runs, two hits, and one error in the ballgame for Arizona. A little late on the slider here as he hits it the other way to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're still down. It's 2-0. Hanley Ramirez will step in. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First pitch coming. And this one runs up high, ball one. And he misses low with it, 
And he's got a tough task here going through the three, four, and five. So you hate to fall behind the first guy. Now ball pushed foul off to the right side. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. And this is where he's dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can also take you deep. The 3-1 is on the way. Well, he jumps on this one and hits it high in the air to deep center field. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Good opportunity now to add to this early lead as they've got the leadoff man on again here with a ringing double. John Buck will dig in here. Two for two with a double thus far. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. And this is, without a doubt, a strikeout situation right here, as you can't let this deficit get any worse than two. A runner at second, nobody out. Spin and a throw back to second, and he'll get back in safely. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. And there's a reason this guy's already two for two. He's getting some good pitches to hit. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Yeah, you're always looking to keep guys honest with fastballs on the inside part of the plate. One pitch, a circle change taken for a cold strike two. And now they can shoot for the strikeout here, which would be a good comeback after the leadoff double. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Swing and a miss, and Buck is down on strikes for the first out. Good time for the strikeout right there. That runner has to stay at second now with one out, so a fly ball here will not do the trick. Logan Morrison will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Morrison. 
Here's the first offering. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. again 2 and 0. Oh. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a green light here 2 and 0 oh, especially with a guy in scoring position. And this is fouled back and out of play. off the circle change here as he moves into the driver's seat three and one and now you wonder if he'll get the same pitch three and one that he did on two and oh the three one and the runner's breaking for third. But this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Throw back to second, and they've got him doubled off, and the inning is over. Ryan Roberts will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And he's just two over the minimum here in his fifth inning of work, so they've yet to get a sustained rally going against him. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And this is going to be ruled an infield single, but the more important issue becomes the health of the man on the mound. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Cole Gillespie will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And a little tapper up the line, but this will wind up a foul ball. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. One there. On to Anderson at first, and it's a double play. Henry Blanco will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. towards center and this was sinking on him at the end but he's able to hang with it and the inning is over 
Diamondbacks down without much of a fight. They trail things here two to nothing. As Merling Vasquez will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Osvaldo Martinez will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Hard to get extended on those. That just locked him up. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. And now it looks like Juan Gutierrez is going to get moving out in that Arizona bullpen. The pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. It's an evening for this guy to forget so far. 0 for 3 now with two strikeouts. Ronnie Belliard will get another shot. He hit into a double play his last time. Changeup called strike one. And now when you plant that seed on the first pitch, you can really go anywhere from here. Now here's the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. He strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. And I'll tell you what, with the eighth place hitter due up, you love to get a one, two, three here and force that pitcher to lead off the following inning. Lars Anderson will be the batter. One for two thus far. in there no balls and a strike and maybe you work around this guy because with the shutout going the pitcher on deck almost certainly will be hitting now here's the pitch and low it's a ball and a strike In for strike two. <laughs> 
Fouled back. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And give him some credit up there. This was looking like it could be a very quick inning, but at least he's been able to stretch out this at bat. Yes. Here's the two and two offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Payoff pitch one more time. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. And he's yet to allow anyone to put the ball in play here in the inning, but we'll see if the two-out walk comes back to bite him. Anibal Sanchez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This is inside 1-0. and And after the two-out walk, now is where you really need to make these guys pay. Ball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. Wouldn't be a surprise to see him continue to work that outside corner. Swing and a miss on the slurve that time. It's one and two. That was a good aggressive swing, Matt. He just couldn't get on top of it. can't find the zone and it's two and two and now an important pitch here because if you go three and two that's going to activate the runner This is swung on and pulled down the third base line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. And you've got to be pleased with your pitcher at the plate. He's made him throw a lot of pitches here, and those do add up. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, 
and a runner left on. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the 6. The Marlins on top, 2 to nothing. Miguel Montero is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number 6. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. Looked like ball two below the knees, but it's ruled a strike, and that evens the count at one and one. And we've seen he's been pretty consistent calling that low strike. Fastball, and that ran in on him as he had to limbo out of the way that time. And you don't want hitters to fall into that comfort zone up there, so a good idea to run the fastball in that time. Swing and a ball chopped foul down the left side. This is hit hard on the ground towards short. And this is right over the head of Anderson at first. Ah, and this is a case where you've really got to know who your runner is out there. I mean, that's not exactly Ichiro busting down that line. He's got plenty of time to make this play, but he fires wildly, and they're going to hit him with an air. Runner at second now. Nobody out. And set to take his cuts is third baseman Melvin Mora. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And you figure he's going to try to go opposite field, so perhaps we'll see something off speed and on the inside part of the plate. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. And now the name of the game is put the ball in play. You cannot have a strikeout here. No one out with a runner at second. Oh. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. And after the air of the play before, he just says, why don't I take care of things myself? Good job there to bounce back with a punch out. Xavier Nady will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Oh. 
ball one. Fouled straight back. Runner at second here with one man out. Comes set. Now the pitch. Fastball. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger. And there are two away. Well, right now, that fastball's been so good. He really hasn't needed any of his secondary pitches. Another good heater there. Kelly Johnson will dig in, 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. Curveball, and he takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And big trouble as this gets to the wall now. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now. Well, he had been doing a good job of working corner to corner, but this is one of those first pitches he's throwing that found the middle of the plate, and it's going to cost him a run as this winds up as an RBI double. Chris Young will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. ball just misses for ball one and now that the shutout's gone if he's not careful his win could go out the window with it and two and oh as this one's taken low and you can tell He's starting to get a little jumpy out there. He's got to take his time and really focus in on the glove. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's two and one. And remember, the runner at second's off at the crack of the bat here. Swing and a miss, strike two. Oh, and Buck can't find the grip. It's off his glove. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. Three-two pitch. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Well, he's been able to keep these guys off the scoreboard to this point, so this may be nothing more than a blip on the radar screen. But now he's got two base runners to deal with out there, so they could be on the verge of a breakthrough here against him. Brandon Allen will dig in. One for two with a double in this one.
in on the hands of it with the fastball. It's 1-0. And one pitch can undo all the good work he's done earlier in the ball game. So be careful here. Off for second is Young. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. One for the Diamondbacks on the RBI double. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's the Marlins two and the D-backs one. And since we've already seen what's going on in the National League, let's check out the AL action now on our out-of-town scoreboard. Juan Gutierrez is on the pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Chris Coughlin will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And he'll have right-handers due up second and third, so he'll be in good shape matchup-wise if he can get past this leadoff guy. slider and he can't pull the trigger two strikes yeah sometimes you keep waiting for that perfect pitch then you look up and it's 0 and 2 here it comes and a tough slider there as he grounds it foul And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now so one away in the inning, but danger lurks in the person of Vlad Guerrero. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw on to Allen at first, two away. Hanley Ramirez will stand in now. One for two with a double so far. the 1-0 now to Ramirez. And this is swung on and bounced toward Johnson at second. Throw on to Allen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. 
Seventh inning stretch time coming up here in the desert. Florida's out in front, two to one. Brandon Allen will step in now. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two thus far. And this one will be out of play off to the left. That's a foul ball. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. And, and even though he's spinning a gem, he's still going to need to avoid that home run ball, so location is still going to be important. Good waste pitch, one and two. Wow, and you can bet he was saving that pitch. Good job to lay off. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. It doesn't take a trained eye to tell you. He's starting to wear down a bit out there on the mound. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now the three and two pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Ah, this will set the manager's blood boiling. You're working with a slim lead late in the ball game and you'll walk the leadoff guy. That just can't happen. Here comes Marlins manager Edwin Rodriguez now on his way to the mound. And it appears that'll be all for Anibal Sanchez. So as he leaves with the bases empty, he stands to be the winning pitcher here tonight if the bullpen can hold up the one-run lead. Clay Hensley will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Ryan Roberts will be the batter. offering on the way and a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul right there and it's quickly 0-2 now got to make sure you cut down the gaps here and avoid the extra base hit if at all possible On the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Ramirez on to Anderson at first, and it's a double play. So much for getting that tying run on base to start the inning as a great pitch there gets him to swing down on the ball, and the result is a big double play. Cole Gillespie will take his cuts now. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And a curveball in for a strike. Yeah, he starts him out with a nice breaking ball there. That's all about putting a guy back on his heels to begin the at-bat.
We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And he looks at a ball one and two. And if he can get this guy, he'll qualify for a hold if this indeed winds up being his last batter. and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll reach over his head to make the play. And a sparkling play it was to end the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Marlins lead it two to one. John Buck will be the batter. Two for three with a double thus far. Lays off 1-0. and And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one on its way to Buck. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. I know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. a fastball in the air now for Young in center. And he puts it away for the first down. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits as you can see by the left side of your screen. Logan Morrison will be the batter. 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. On the corner at the knees, 0-1.
Now the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. My colleagues may not want to hear this, and it's probably a jinx, but this game is flying along. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Nady is right there, and he's got it for out number two. Well, this is great work by a setup man here. You know, his task coming in was to keep this ball game close, and he's done that all right as he's retired five in a row since coming on in the seventh inning. Osvaldo Martinez will try and turn it around. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts thus far. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And the adrenaline might be flowing a little too strongly right now. Oh. And here's a fastball for a strike, 2-1 and one now. And even though he got his fastball in the zone on 2-0, and oh, that's a good take. You won't do much with it when it's located there. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Swing and a liner toward right center. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Two out single right there. And here in the eighth inning, when you've got a one run lead, you'll take any kind of insurance you can get. They'd love to find a way to get him around. Ronnie Belliard will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, one and oh. And they won't be afraid to work up in the zone against a guy like this. They want him to hit it in the air. A runner on first with two away. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. And that's just his first stolen base of the season, but it's always nice to have something besides a zero in that SB column. Here's the 1-1. One -one. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Slider, and this is hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to Allen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. One left for Florida. They lead it 2-1. to one. Out to home plate with the lineup card in hand is Marlon skipper Edwin Rodriguez, so it would appear we're going to see a double switch here. Edward Mojica is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Mojica, your attention, please. This change for the Marlins. Now playing third base, 
number one. Willie Bloomquist will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Pinch hitting for the Diamondbacks, number 18, Willie Bloomquist. And now Leo Nunez starts to loosen up in the Florida bullpen. In there, strike one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Buck with the sign. Now the one and one. And this is low. Ball two. Two and one. Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. Ah, you always have to honor that fastball. He can get it up on you pretty quick. The 2-2 two -two coming. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Justin Upton will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 10, Justin Upton. Got him to reach out of the zone for that one, strike one. And this is one of the benefits of giving a guy like this a day's rest out of the starting lineup. What a guy to turn to off the bench. Bases are empty, one man out. One and one. Splitter taken here, two and one. Fastball there, but I don't think he got all of it as this is out to deep center field. Coglin there to grab it as that becomes out number two. And that hit streak we talked about could be in some jeopardy here as he remains hitless for the game.
Melvin Mora will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. A strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. And now pitch on the way. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. And two good location fastballs there. Both in different parts of the zone, but both effective. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Ninth inning coming up, it's the Marlins 2 and the D-backs 1. Aaron Heilman will come on now to start the ninth inning as he looks to keep this deficit right where it is for the bottom of the ninth. Conrad Schmidt is into the ballgame here as he takes over behind the plate. Lars Anderson will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. One oh pitch now. Grounded softly to the left side. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And now we'll look at what's coming up in the bottom half of inning number nine. As you see there, the two, three, and four hitters do up, so they'll at least have the right part of the lineup to try and get that tying run home. Emilio Bonifacio will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Now a slider is swung on and grounded towards short. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. We've talked about it before, but there is no such thing as a routine ground ball with this guy at the plate. And he proves that here as this will go as an infield single. Chris Coughlin will be the batter. And that misses ball one. Here's the one oh. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Woo! 
Now a ground ball towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly, so it's runners at first and second now with one man out. Well, he got the ground ball he needed, but this one had eyes, and it's first and second now with still only one out. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and here comes Vlad. And now a ball sliced the other way out to right field. Number eight is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. And they won't get him at third. They're runners at the corners here with two gone. That's taking a bit of a risk there with two outs going from second to third of the fly ball, but he does get in there safely. It's likely to take a two-out hit to score him, but a pass ball or wild pitch will do the trick too. Hanley Ramirez will step in, a ground out victim as last time. First pitch coming. Now a swing and a chance for Johnson at second base. Throw on to Allen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. The Marlins on top, two to one. Leo Nunez is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Leo Nunez. Xavier Nady will try again, 0 for 3 thus far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Anderson is there to make the catch, and it's a dreadful start to the bottom of the ninth. One pitch, one out. Well, this is what you want out of your closer. Comes in firing darts, and it's a very quick out number one. Kelly Johnson will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. And the pitch. Now the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first is in time, and Johnson is retired for the second out of the inning. Two up and two down in the ninth so far. This one looks just about to be in the bag. Diamondbacks are down to their final out now, and that'll bring in the center fielder, Chris Young. Takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. If he indeed can finish this one off, he'd be rewarded with save number 12 on the year. Now here it comes. Grounded foul. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. So the first is going to be in time to take care of him, and the Marlins have finally found their way back into the win column as this ball game is over.
Boy, and the manager cannot ask for much more than this. It is always good to come out and take that series opener on the road. Guys, the Marlins were led to victory here by the performance on the mound turned in by this gentleman right here, Anibal Sanchez. Strike a pose, he's our top player of the game. Six strong innings, Matt. I was a little surprised they pulled him so soon, but nonetheless, the bullpen did his job and got him the victory. That's a wrap here tonight. Matt Vaskersian, Dave Campbell, Eric Karros. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Marlins win it 2-1. to one. Post game highlights come your way next. Now for all of us at The Show, good night from Phoenix.